Good morning. The paper I'm solving today is Science 1, 2019, um, 5124. Question 1. The diagram below shows four identical metal bars placed between two wooden blocks on a ruler. What is the diameter of each metal bar? These are the four metal bars, one, two, three, four. And then their total length is 12 centimeters because then look at this, the scale is in centimeters and these are just, these are actually centimeters from here to here it's 10. So just count these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then there are four of them. So each one has a diameter of 12 divided by four, giving us three, the answer is C. Number two, which of the following would be, would change the period oscillation of a pendulum? Length of the pendulum would definitely change the period because the arc being covered by the bulb will actually increase the arc distance. C. Question three, the diagram below shows, the diagram below is a graph showing the movement of a car of, um, movement of a car over a period of uh, 70 seconds. What distance was traveled by the car while its speed was decreasing? Uh, decreasing meaning it's this this uh, triangle here. Did I do the right thing? So the formula for the area of this triangle is the distance this car moved when the speed was decreasing. Therefore, an acceleration was uh, uh, reducing or negative so HB our height is a 20 so 20 then our base is um, this is a, a 10 okay so I made an error here it's supposed to be a 10 okay um, so this is our decreasing portion so decreasing 10 times 20 is 200 200 over 2 is actually a hundred meters okay so my answer there is 100, meaning the answer is A, not this one. I think I, I took the first triangle, I didn't look uh, properly. So our answer there is um, A, not C. Question four there, the diagram below shows a 200 gram object on a frictionless surface acted upon by three forces. Okay, that's our 200 gram. These two forces, this is the same as this. This is the seven newton. This is six newtons. Which of the following is correct about the acceleration and direction of movement of the object? Direction will be to the right, therefore to my right. Then acceleration will be caused by a resultant force of one newton because you have to subtract. This is a negative of a sum of these. So one newton. So the acceleration will actually be uh, five uh, meters per second squared. My answer here is C. The acceleration will be by this magnitude and to the right. Five, why would a magnetic, a, ma a mechanic prefer to use a longer spanner to loosen a nut than a short one? A longer spanner would give a greater turning effect, a greater moment, okay? Number six, uh, a drum of water of weight 2,000 newtons is rolled up a plank of length two meters onto a platform 0.8 meters high. Okay, what is the work done on the drum against gravity? The amount of work done is equal to the amount of energy um, um, expended. Therefore, I just calculate for my uh, gravitational potential energy to be equal to the amount of work done. So, GPE is equal to MGH. The weight is MG. Remember, weight is equal to MG. So, height is our H. So, 2000. And this, okay, gives us 2500 joules. The answer is C. Number seven, a crane lifts 600 kg mass, a 600 kg mass through a vertical height of 12 meters in eight seconds. What is the crane's power output? Therefore, the crane's power on the on the thingy is um, work over time. Okay, that's power, rate of doing work. Uh, work is equal to force times distance. So here where there's supposed to be W, I put FD because work is equal to FD. So this is my work. Force is 6,000, that is the, the weight of the, of, of the object, the weight is mg, so this force is actually the weight of the mg because the lifting is vertical. Then um, distance is 12 meters, this is our 12 meters, over time which is uh, 18 seconds. Then you have 72,000 there, then over 8 gives you 400, I mean 4,000 watts, our answer is A, 4,000 watts. 
Next question there is eight. The diagram below shows a wheel and axle not drawn to scale. Use the used to raise a load of 280 newtons by a force of 40 newtons okay if the ready of the wheel r and axle r are 70 and 50 i mean 70 and 5 respectively what is the velocity ratio of the wheel and axle therefore the ratio of the distances through which they cover the ratio of their circumferences you can simply use the radius or their circumferences to find the velocity ratio so here i my velocity ratio came out as uh, 14 okay my velocity ratio came out as 14 um therefore my answer is here uh, the diagram below shows a bimetallic strip before and strip before and when it was dipped in a liquid um, of temperature negative 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, there's our diagram there before dipping or when dipped or after being dipped. Uh, which of the following is correct? My answer was D when cooled, made to B contracts more than A. Okay, that's the only sensible answer here, uh, which is approaching this question correctly. The others are twisted to make you confused. This is unfair. Number 10, a bicycle pump contains 70 cubic centimeters of air at, at a pressure of 1 atm and temperature of 7 degrees. What is the pressure when the air is compressed to 30, 30 cubic centimeters at a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius? This is um, an equation, um, the gas equation where you combine Boyle's law and Charles law. So I simply do my thing here. I I use um, Kelvin's, okay? I use Kelvin's and my answer comes out as 2.5 atmosphere. Sometimes I came across another question where they were using degree Celsius and it worked out well, but mostly you have to look at, uh, I feel like you just have to use Kelvin's because they, they make everything safe. Because if you're taught to calculate for the a given gas at STP, standard temperature, temperature and pressure, you have to use at STP, the temperature is zero degrees Celsius. So if you use zero in this equation, it will mess up your answer. So when you use Kelvin, it always leaves your answers. It always leaves you on the safe side because the 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 the, the STP condition has a zero. Okay, but if it's RTP or any other, I think you would be safe. But for STP, uh, you have a zero as part of your temperatures uh, here. So my answer there was B. The diagram below represents positions um, at one particular time on a longitudinal wave. Which positions are one wavelength apart? My answer was D. Z and Y. They are one wavelength apart. Remember that uh, a compression and a rarefaction creates one cycle. So this is the next compression for the next cycle or for the next wave. Uh, 12 which one of the following sound frequencies has the highest pitch you have to look at frequency frequency the higher the frequency they are the pitch pitch is the sharpness of sound so D it's like on a guitar the smaller uh, strings vibrate faster hence they produce sharper sounds uh, 13 the diagram below shows a ray of light from air to a rectangular glass block which of the following equations can be used to calculate the refractive index of glass you have to look at the angles that are measured against the normal. This is our normal there. So this is the angle of interest and also this one. Two and four are not really a part of our, directly part of our calculation. So this is the angle of incidence. This is the angle of refraction. And if you're trying to calculate the uh, refractive index, you always take the angle which is on the less dense side. So this would be our angle of uh, in incidence. And even if the arrows were pointing outwards, like this one pointing outwards, and even this one pointing outwards, we would still take this one as our angle of incidence if we were to calculate for refractive index. So it's going to be sine 1 over sine 3. The answer there is A. That is called Snell's law. 14. The diagram below shows how an image is formed from an object placed in front of a converging lens. The diagram drawn to scale is, is drawn to scale, okay? If the magnification, if its magnification, what is its magnification? Oh, oh I didn't solve this one. Okay, oh, this is all about linear magnification. They have said the diagram is drawn to scale. Um, okay, well, you can easily image real image inverted centimeters from the lens. Um, real, uh, I mean, image is real, inverted, 
are 18 centimeters from the lens, 4 centimeters high. Uh, let's see, 1 centimeter represents 2 centimeters, that's our scale. Um, okay, so let me just find solve this one, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, my answer is 2, or 2 times, or times 2, or just 2 here, so put our 2 there, that's our answer. Apart from, I've used this, the, the height of the image is 4 centimeters, and the scale says 1 centimeter represents 2 centimeters. So these are 2 centimeters, meaning they represent 4. And when you look at our object, this is um, 1 centimeter, meaning it's actually a 2, because 1 centimeter represents 2 centimeters. So, image over object giving me a 2. If not, so you can also refer to what we refer to as um, linear magnification. You simply divide the distance of the image from the lens, which is 18 centimeters, because these are simply 9 centimeters. And since 1 centimeter represents 2 centimeters, this is 18 centimeters. And then this one is 4.5 from the center of the optic center. 1, 2, 3, 4, and half. Therefore, this is actually 9. So 18 over 9 will still give you a 2 for linear magnification. So sometimes you may not have the size of the image and object, but you still have the linear distances, the linear ratios. 15. Um, a negative charged rod is closed, is held closed, um, but not touched, not touching an insulated material. Okay, insulated material. Which diagram shows the charges that are induced in the sphere? The rod is negative. The material for now is neutral. This negative will attract positivity. In other words, it will repel the electrons such that this side will be positive, the other side will be neg um, negative. So this will be our answer. A. 16. A small heater operates at a small heater operates at 12 volts to amps. How much energy will it use when it's switched on for five minutes? Uh, energy is equals to power times time. Okay. Uh, so our power, we simply find the power phase since we have current and voltage. The power is 24 watts. Its power rating is 24 watts, 24 joule, uh, joules per second or joule second or uh, volt amp. So uh, here, uh, 24 joules per second, um, power is equal to energy over time. Okay, this is the same as power is equal to work over, uh, over time. So... Um, our final energy make E the subject and it comes at 7200 our answer is D okay number seven uh, the diagram below shows magnetic field patterns between north and south pole of magnets which number diagrams show the correct magnetic field patterns uh, four was my answer four is my answer okay study the patterns and you will not say this is supposed to attract this is supposed to attract this is not correct because the arrows are supposed to point south. So here the arrows are pointing south and the magnetic field lines are, so, are showing attraction. Number 18, a transformer has 100, uh, 1,000 turns, uh, 1,000 turns in the primary coil. Um, uh, coil. The voltage applied to the primary coil is 230 volts AC. How much turns are in the secondary coil if the output voltage is 46 volts? Use part of the transformer equation. Coils in the primary, coils in the secondary, voltage in primary, voltage in secondary. You replace all the variables you have this, then make NS, the number of turns in the secondary, your subject, then you divide, then your answer comes out as 200 turns. This is a step down transformer. Okay, R19, what is the purpose of X plates in the cathode ray oscilloscope? To deflect electron beams horizontally or side to side? Answer is B. Number 20, um, Sodium include nu a sodium nucleus decays by emission of a beta particle from magnesium to form magnesium. Okay, which equation is correct? Is the correct representation of the decay? Elements are identified by their atomic numbers, and the atomic number of magnesium is twelve. So among these, none of them is representing magnesium. This one has a nine. This one is eleven. This is sodium. Sodium. Thirteen. This is not magnesium. It should be another element on the periodic table because uh, after magnesium, what follows is. Uh, let me just check it out right now. You see, element thirteen is aluminium. Okay, and then I want to come back to this periodic table here. Element eleven is actually sodium. Okay, uh, so there's no magnesium. Magnesium should have it. 
12 year and any month there because it's possible that it can have isotopes so that ends the um the part of section a of this paper and there's no answer here so i'll i'll, I'll make another video for section b um for now i'll say bye bye